Welcome to Christina's Kitchen. I'm Christina McFeeders. Today we're going to explore one of my favorite ways to incorporate kale into my diet. Two of my favorite types of kale, uh, you can see here, we have the little baby kale, and then we also have the large kale. Both of these you can find at most grocery stores in your produce section. The baby kale, if you want to eat kale raw, this is your best to use because it's tender, uh, it's very mild in flavor, it chops up really nicely in salads, and that's one of my favorite ways to use the baby kale. I want to show you one of my favorite ways to steam kale, and so I'm going to show you on the big kale. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this spine off so I have just the kale itself. You notice I said my favorite thing to do is to steam it. A lot of people like to boil it or saute it or roast it and all of those are okay but if you want the maximum amount of nutrition you want to steam your kale. And the reason is because steam never gets above 212 degrees and so you get the maximum nutritional benefit from it because it's not killing all the vitamins and minerals out of it. We're just going to chop this into some pieces here. So we're going to put this chopped kale into our uh, steam uh, pot here. And you can see it's nice and steamy. The water is boiling underneath it. And we're going to put this kale in. And this may look like a lot of kale, but it's really not. Uh, it's going to shrink a lot once it gets cooking. So we're just going to put that in. And uh, this type of kale, because it's uh, more tough, takes longer to cook. So if you were to steam something like this, uh, it would steam in a very short amount of time, anywhere from 5 to 12 minutes. Uh, but if you're steaming something more tough uh, and mature leaves, it can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. We're going to add a couple more things to this for flavor. Uh, while those are steaming, uh, one of my favorite things to put in is some onion. Because if you're steaming the onion in with it, with those greens, it's going to cook that onion flavor into them and just make them absolutely wonderful. So we're going to peel this onion and then we're going to chop it. And then we will also mince some garlic uh, cloves with it as well. So the onion doesn't have to be chopped in small pieces. Uh, you can chop them fairly large if you like. Okay, so we have our onion now. We're going to put that in with the steaming kale. And while we've got it here, we're going to just mince some garlic directly into it. I've got two cloves of garlic here. So there's one. And there's two, and we're just going to mince that right in, put that on top, and cover the lid back on, and let that steam until it's ready. See how fun and simple this is? It's full of nutrition, delicious, great source of fiber, and it's so easy. Be sure and try this at home.